to stop sending weapons into Syria to exasperate the situation. He called for sending such weapons to the Palestinian resistance men to enable them to confront the Israeli aggression. He considered such regional states mistaken in their attitude. He also expressed appreciation of Syria's firm stand against the Israeli aggression and its support for the resistance men for a long time. He renewed Iran's attitude of supporting the Israeli aggression and condemned the silence of some Arab and Islamic countries which did not condemn Israel's vicious crimes. The Syrian Arab army units continued their national duty of dealing with the terrorist groups in Aleppo and its countryside, inflicting heavy casualties among them. A unit of our armed forces destroyed the hideouts of terrorists in Handarat, killing and wounding dozens of them. In Dar it Azza, a unit of armed forces completely destroyed two hideouts. Other units targeted a terrorist group on the highway to Al Misal Mie and destroyed four vehicles carrying terrorists and ammunition. They also destroyed five vehicles full of weapons in Kafarama. In Aleppo, a unit of our armed forces destroyed terrorist groups that used to create panic in Tel Al Zarazir and the Jibreen station in Aleppo. The citizen Mohammed Isa Al Jasim was kidnapped, tortured and murdered by terrorists because he joined a demonstration calling upon the terrorists to leave the neighborhood. Terrorists fired mortar shells on crowded housing areas in al mazay in Damascus, killing and wounding several citizens and causing material damage. The first shell fall, fell on a girls' school, damaging its walls and the neighboring houses. Another shell fell on two houses and caused damage in one of them and destroyed another house under construction. There were no human victims. Also in El Mezze, an explosive device weighing nearly 50 kilograms was detonated by terrorists under a vehicle in El Jalat sports town. This led to the burning of four other vehicles and caused material damage. In Damascus countryside, the terrorists targeted the residential neighborhood of Jaramana by a mortar shell that landed in the crowded street of El Basil, killing eight people and injuring 20 others. The terrorist attack also inflicted heavy material damage, destroying many cars and buses which were passing in that street. In Deir ez a Syrian Arab army unit clashed with a terrorist group in the neighboring of El Jbeli killing and injuring many terrorists. Among those killed was one known as Abdul Rahman Saleh al Khalif al Habush, who is a member of Al Muhajirin group, which is affiliated to what is called Al Nasra Front. Another Syrian Arab army unit targeted a group of terrorists in Al Bukamal in Deir Zor countryside, killing many of them, including Muhammad Amin al Qashqa, Omar Muhammad al Qashqa, who are from just a shore in Idlib, in addition to Saeed al Raja Ahmed al Matrud and others. With this, we reach the end of our news. More news on our website. Stay with us with Vani after the break with our economic news. God bless Syria and God bless you all.